overheated brakes. This can happen at Pikes Peak in the Rocky Mountains a lot quicker than expected. From the summit at over 4,300 meters, it goes 30 kilometers downhill at a decline of 7%. That's why there's a mandatory brake check at Pikes Peak at which the temperature of the brakes is controlled. We've had cars that couldn't stop here and slid down the road and flipped upside down. So this is all about safety. We're trying to make this mountain as safe as possible. The temperature that we cut people off on is 300. Overheated brakes for the Audi e-tron prototype unthinkable. In 90% of all cases, we only use the electric motor to brake. We recuperate and thereby decelerate the vehicle, using the friction brake only seldom. Therefore, we are very efficient. An efficiency that has left an impression to the rangers at Pikes Peak. All right, you guys are 48 degrees. The, the ground right now is 45 degrees Fahrenheit, and the warmest brake temperature down so far is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very impressive. Most cars don't get below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. 52 degrees Fahrenheit, that's just 11 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, it should be noted that a lower temperature at the brake disc is associated with a lower performance. Of course, we recognized this during its development and created special brake discs and pads that perform very well at low temperatures. Thereby, we were able to develop a very safe and very efficient braking system. The innovative recuperation system in the Audi e-tron is therefore doubly efficient. On the one hand, it charges the battery via recuperation. For every kilometer driven at Pikes Peak, it allows approximately one additional kilometer in range. On the other hand, it protects the brakes and thus ensures greater safety even under the most extreme conditions. Six in the morning, over 4,300 meters above sea level. Four Audi e-tron prototypes on test drive at Pikes Peak in Colorado, USA. Pikes Peak is a special place for Audi. In 1987, Walter Roll won the legendary hill climb with the Audi Sport Quattro S1 right here. S1 won. And today, 31 years later, we're here with our Audi e-tron prototype. This time not to set the record of driving uphill, but to drive downhill and prove the efficiency of the e-tron prototype with the innovative recuperation system. For the first time, 32 journalists from all over the world will have the opportunity to experience the recuperation system of the Audi e-tron at Pikes Peak. It goes downhill at a stretch of over 30 kilometers with a decline of 7% in average. We're driving 20 miles now, and when you see how much energy is entering the battery right now, that's quite remarkable. With a maximum output of 220 kilowatts, the e-tron prototype can recharge its battery. That's 70% of its drive power. Overall, it provides up to 30% more range through energy recovery. The heart of the system is the so-called integrated brake control system. With the integrated brake control system, we can decide in our control unit, depending on the driving situation, to either decelerate with the wheel brake or recuperate with the e-motor. We can bring back the kinetic energy as electrical energy into the battery and ensure a longer range. 
positive side effect, the brakes are hardly put under pressure during recuperation and do not overheat. But that can certainly happen at Pike's Peak. Therefore, there's a mandatory brake check to control the temperature of the brake discs. All right, you guys are 48 degrees. The, the ground right now is 45 degrees Fahrenheit and the warmest brake temperature down so far is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very impressive. Most cars don't get below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Unglaublich, 800 Höhenmeter runter. Uh. Unbelievable, 800 meters downhill. We braked so many times and the brake disc is 11 degrees Celsius. You can touch it. It all went through the electric motor. This is wonderful, this feeling that the energy is not merely turned into heat and gone to waste, but is available for reach. How efficient the recuperation system of the Audi e-tron prototype really is can be seen at the end of the test drive. 10 kilowatts, 10 kilowatts recuperated, 1,940 altitude meters and 29 kilometers driving distance. For every kilometer we drive downhill, we get approximately an extra kilometer of range, and that's even exceeded our expectations. 31 years after Walter Roll's record drive, Audi is once again on a record-breaking scale at Pikes Peak.